<laughs> Hello and welcome to Doncaster Fear Factory. This is my first ever visit. They've invited me down for the opening weekend of the event and I am very excited to get in and check out what's going on. I know nothing about it. As usual, I've never been here before. There's five scare mazes, there's a scare zone, um, and we've also got a special talk with the creative director to start the day off. But that is all I know. So join me as I head inside Doncaster Fear Factory and find out what's going on at this scary event. <laughs> Here we go. I don't know if I'm excited or not. <laughs> I love how Emily was just like, don't show fear, and then she just shows <laughs> fear. <laughs> 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 I can't even see you, Mom. You're all right, mate. My heart, honestly, feel my heart. <laughs> fear is, your it is pounding. What a, what a rubbish friend. For context, that was just to get in. That was crazy. That was just to get into the park room. That wasn't even a maze. That was just roaming, roaming actors. That's crazy. A crazy are they? This setting is absolutely amazing. We're literally in a wood. It's so atmospheric. Look down here. It's just like an abandoned forest. It's really creepy. It's our best friends. So we have just done Crackle Hill. That was different. We've got some new friends. You folks want to see a dead body? Yeah. You want to see more than one no. dead body? So yeah, I'm not sure whether I want to film in the mazes because I think it will detract for me from the experience and I don't want to give spoilers either. So I'm not filming in many of the mazes, I might just do little clips. But um, that maze was very good, very, very narrow, uneven floors, lots of actors, very story based. Really good, but we've got to rush, we've got to get all the mazes in, so we're gonna get on to the next one. So, it's gonna be dark, I've not got a light, um, but there's lots of atmospheric lighting around, so you'll see my face every now and then. What I really appreciate about um, Crackle Hill is the storytelling. Um, the actors were really good at telling the story, not just jumping out and trying to scare you. Um, they'd all got a purpose, part of the storyline, and it, it was really like seamless from start to finish. Um, and that's what I like in a in a maze. I like a good storyline. I like good theming and good quality acting, not just people that are screaming in your face every two seconds. Is the Pogo Club? <laughs> oh, is he going to come down the queue? That was another quality maze. It was just mad, and I some for somehow I ended up at the front. I didn't, I didn't like being at the front. <laughs> so there is a central hub here with a DJ on. The food things aren't open, but there's usually food and drink offerings in there as well. Obviously, it's just not open because it's the media night. Go on, Emily. I'll shield you. He's just going to jump. I've actually hurt myself. I'm breaking. Can I just go off? Are you coming with me? I've hurt my knees and my face. I'm going, I'm leaving you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Pogo's was really good. Again, they set the scene really well with the story. Um, it wasn't a massively long maze. But it was a fun one, a lot of tight spaces, a lot of actors in there, a lot of jump scares. I was at the front of the bloody group, so 
I got all the scares, but everyone at the back was getting them as well. Um, and then you come out into a nice outdoor section, which was good. The smells in there and everything were really good as well. Like, yeah, not a bad thing to say, just exactly what I'd want from a mace. So next up, we're doing Diabolus, Keeper of Secrets. This is the new mace for this year. It's got a really impressive facade on the front. Probably the best one that we've seen yet, actually. But I don't know what happens inside. Let's get in and check it out. That was, that was a good one. I'm really like toying with how much I should tell you and how much I shouldn't. So spoiler, um, it's a, basically a demonic vicar in there. Um, and an old vicarage, there's loads of spooky nuns. Um, and then you're actually going to an outdoor section where, big spoiler, there's a hooded maze where you follow a rope. It's really creepy, really good. And then the end scene in that is absolutely one of the biggest effects I've seen in scare mazes. I've not done loads, but um, it was very impressive. It was a good one there. So we've got two mazes left. Next up is Yano. Again, haven't got a clue, so let's just see what happens. Oh my god, that one was brilliant. Like, really good. Oh, this music's not going to be helping with the sound. Let me get a light. I'll get a light and I'll wait for the music. So that goes straight to my favourite maze that I've done here tonight. It was so good. These woods are really creepy. Dad got everything that I like in a maze. Really good storytelling, really good set pieces, really good theming. Um, the actors were really good. They were like really hands on. Which I'm discovering I quite enjoy. Like, I was literally pinned against a wall by somebody in there. Um, and I couldn't move. And there was a lot of touching, a lot of feeling, a lot of grabbing at feet. It was it was very, very good. Very well acted. Great storytelling. Um, it's got a really good theme that runs throughout it. All about some dangerous gas. I won't give too much away. But um, that was really good by far. The, probably one of my favourite ever scare mazes. Now it's time for the chasm. It's all very much set in the woods. The paths are very much dirt pa paths, quite muddy. So come with the decent footwear. I've got some very old trainers on, so I don't mind them getting filthy. But again, this is our next one. It's called the chasm. I haven't got a clue what to expect. So all the mazes have these boards. You probably can't see it, but um, yeah, it tells you all about the maze and what to expect inside. They've also got fast track entrances, so you can buy fast track as well. That was another quality maze. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but I am sweating now. I mean, it's warm anyway for October, but I've got a hoodie on. There was a lot of very small, low spaces in that one. Um, the actors were very, very hands-on. And I was at the back of the group again. Oh my God. <laughs> I was at the back of the group and like, ugh. there was a lot of touching in that, wasn't there? It's just relentless tonight. You but know? It, it's really good. Like yeah. I've never done anything that's this intense in terms of the actors being on you. Yeah, and it's just about I'm right. Enjoying. You know, it's not that you don't feel like you're at actual danger, but they. Yeah, it's appropriate. It's for, appropriate, but for the it story. feels aggressive. It's yeah. like it just elevates every single maze to that next level. It's really good. It's, it's yeah, it's a really good attraction. I am very much enjoying it. Like almost to the point that I'm thinking like, because obviously it's not fully open tonight. Um, so there's areas that aren't open, like the, the main stage and all the food and stuff. And I'm thinking if this was like, if you were coming here on a proper night out where you could actually drink, yeah. do the mazes, enjoy the DJ and everything, it'd be a really good night out. Right, we've done all the mazes. We've got 10 minutes left. So we're going to head into our favorite one and do it again. We're going in to Yana. So we just had our second run through on Yana. Totally different. Like that's the best thing about scare mazes. The actors were in different places, where I was expecting them to be, they weren't. Um, it was really good how they changed it up and there was way more smoke in that. Like I was totally lost at one point. 
and there's a scene at the end where you're in like a maze of cages um, it's really hard to find your way through it I'm awful in this lion um, but yeah just really good the fact that you can have like two different experiences in the same maze in the space of like half an hour um, makes it all like really re I don't know did you say re-rideable but um, yeah I would I'd happily do all the mazes here again but this one um, and the one that we did before this was definitely like way above the others for me okay that's enough being traumatized for one night it's time to go home this has been a really good event though i've been invited down um by the park so thank you very much for the tickets for the entry um it would have been lovely to have seen it with a bit more atmosphere if there was food and like the bar was open in the middle like i said but i think we've um we struck it lucky with the mazes we did probably the weakest to the best so we were like we really built up like how intense and how good the mazes were. We didn't intend to do that, but it's just the way it worked. And then we got a chance to redo my favorite one, which was Yana at the end. Apparently that's the last year it's here as well. So I would definitely recommend that you get down here and check it out if you're into scare mazes. It was very enjoyable. Uh, it was very hands-on. It was very intense. It was very smoke. It just, it had everything I love from a maze, loads of theming and everything. I think I've repeated myself a lot tonight. But no, really good event. If you're in the Doncaster area, I'd definitely recommend coming down. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Sorry if it's been a bit chaotic. It's been a bit mad trying to get everything done and film and stuff. Um, but yeah, here we are. We're at the end of the vlog. Thanks very much for watching it. Um, if you've enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a like and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.